Look at this. Best belt buckle ever. This actually, look, it actually hooks on to your belt. And I don't know how many people, when they bought this, put this on their belt. Or actually wear it on their belt. I do. But, same time, I don't have that many red shirts. And I'm trying to correspond with the coins. It, it's hard. It's going to be hard. Welcome to today's Coffee and Comics. I'm your host, Jay Wheeler, the number one source in Sacramento for nerdy news and other things nerdy, plus comic books. Um, how's everyone's week going so far? I know it's Monday. I know, you know, a lot of people are not happy with Mondays. But nonetheless, there's a lot of news going on, a lot of big news. After uh, Disney's Expo happened this following weekend, uh, also, uh, there is some very surprising big news that I did not see coming that I thought was kind of a joke, but it's really not a joke. So, um, also, uh, my birthday was on Friday, and I just wanted to share with you, I'm not going to get too detailed into it, but I got this lovely thing for my birthday. Yes, it is Power Ranger 20th anniversary diecast modeled Power Morpher. Um, I've been wearing it as a belt buckle because it's amazing. And it's supposed to be a... It's not supposed to be a belt buckle. Let's put it that way. But I'm wearing it as a belt buckle and it is, it is entirely awesome because look, look at this. Look, watch, watch, watch at this. I'm going to wait until the guitar. Right. Yeah, so, um, I know that probably is not what you want to watch at this point in time. I know you're probably going, uh, Jay. You are kind of wasting my time. I don't know why I watch this show. Uh, first of all, I thank you for watching the show. Secondly, I just wanted to share that with you because I just wear. I, I love wearing this because this is an actual, like an actual thing that you can wear. Now. So that's all I want to say. All right, now to the news at hand. All right, so since. The Disney Expo that happened this past weekend, which, by the way, like I said before in a past video, I did not know existed until now. Probably because that Disney did not have Marvel. And so now that Disney has Marvel, uh, it's kind of a bigger thing. And since Disney now has Star Wars, now it's just like an entire... It's almost like a Comic-Con, but it's for all the new stuff that's coming in. That Disney's getting out and bringing out. So that along tales with, you know, the Avengers, Captain America, Thor, uh, Star Wars, new Star Wars stuff, and all that stuff. Um, there are pictures of old sketches of the first Darth Vader and how Star Wars uh, symbols should have looked like before in the 70s. Also, there's supposedly a comic book coming out with, I don't know if Lucas has his hands in this. It sounds like he has his hands in this. But it's supposed to be what Star Wars was supposed to be, actually supposed to be, where Luke Skywalker was, not Luke Skywalker, he was a different name, and he was an older gentleman, and he was battled, warned, and they were just going to go through his life through space and everything. And I, when I heard about it, I'm like, really, 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 you just can entirely destroy Star Wars and completely? Come on now, let's not do that. Let's continue on making, let's move forward, continue moving forward with the original stuff and hopefully have J.J. Abrams make an amazing Star Wars movie. So, all right, secondly, um, 
Okay, guys. Uh, we've all been reading the internet and watching videos and seeing stuff posted about Vin Diesel somehow being involved with Marvel. And as I was reading those articles, I'm like, eh, come on. What is Vin Diesel going to be playing? The man doesn't seem like he's, you know, has anything to do with comic books or Marvel or any of the heroes. But uh, I am no, I am the wrongest person in the world right now because there's confirms of Vin Diesel being Groot and Guardians of the Galaxy. He's going to be the voice of Groot, basically. Now, what I want to know is what is everyone else's thoughts about this? Because, I don't know, I'm kind of 50-50 about this. I mean, yes, Groot is a tree alien, and his voice would be perfect because Vin Diesel has a very deep voice. But if you see the movies that Vin Diesel has been making, you know, there's no, he has nothing to do with comic books or anything like that. He's more of a street, street tough dog type person. And yes, he made the pacifier, but I mean, he still was a street, you know, tough marine. Now he's going to be playing a tree, who is, by the way, is a badass tree. But come on, I just, I don't know. Let's hope that if he does, if he does become Groot, and he does the voice, um, let's hope that he's, you know, that it's good. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good, but I still have my suspicions. So let's just hope and pray that it's amazing. Also, there is a a leaked phone video of the teas teaser trailer that was at Comic Con. It's up online. Um, it's kind of a little poor, it's a little, it's a little poorly shot, what am I saying, poorly shot, coming off the phone, um, what I mean poorly shot, meaning that it's, it's like super fast, I'm thinking the guy immediately when the video went up, he's just like, oh, and then he counted till 10 and then dropped it, dropped the phone, so, because it cuts out like super fast, but it gets most of the trailer in, so, Go check it out online. Um, yeah, it's out there. I try to get it, but it's not working. So, yes, go out there and search for it, and it'll probably be on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it'll be on YouTube if it hasn't been taken down yet. Okay. Thirdly, um, after the confirm of the sequel for uh, Man of Steel, having Batman and Superman in it, uh, DC Comics has confirmed via Variety that the digital copies of Frank Miller's The Dark Knight uh, has risen 161% in July, just in July itself, because of uh, because of the announcement. Now, that's also happened with uh, the Marvel. Marvel Comics have also been getting boosted up as well because of the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, X-Men, Wolverine. I will attest to that because after I've read uh, the two comic books that I was talking about on the show, uh, the all-new X-Men 1 and 2, I couldn't stop reading them, so I had to keep I constantly. This weekend, I went to the comic book store at least three times and got like four issues apiece because it's so good. This new X Men, and then bringing the old X Men, and having them meet the new X Men, yeah, it's a fantastic story. Uh, so, yeah, I, that's great. That's great news to hear that there are increases in comic book sales because of movies that are potentially coming out. So, I think that's great. Again, sorry, keep saying great. I'm losing my train of thought here. Um, I don't know. It just it seems that everyone is starting to figure out how much amazement comes out of the comic books that all of us normally read and all of the shows that we normally watch. And now more and more people are getting into it and realizing that, you know, 
it's pretty awesome. This stuff is pretty cool. This stuff uh, is, you know, it just grabs a hold of you and you don't want to let go because of how amazing the stories and the characters are so well developed and the stories are just like mind blowing sometimes. So that's great. I'm glad that there are increases in sales of comic books and everyone is starting to read more. All right. Thirdly, Wolverine has been grossed all has grossed worldwide 300 million so far. That's that's a lot of money. Um, also, and but World War Z has been had hit 500 million globally. So that's kind of like saying that you know, comic book movie is really good. But zombie movie still beats out comic book movie. So, but uh, Wolverine movie was great. Obviously, everyone has seen it. Uh, can't wait for X Men, the new X Men movie that comes out and has Wolverine in it. Um, related story: um, Hugh Jackman has been offered ten million dollars to reprise his Wolverine role for four four, four more movies. Excuse me, Zordon's calling me. Um, I think that's well worth that money because Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. I mean, they could not have picked a perfect, more perfect Wolverine. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, that will be the end of that. Um, all right. So, yeah, that will be the news for today, Monday. Uh, hope the rest of your Mondays are going to go very well. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Um... Please, oh, also, sorry, one more, I just remembered, side note, um, there's a picture up online that I'll put up as well, uh, of the promo for New York Comic Con that has Wonder Woman and Superman in it, so, I thought it was just a cool picture, so I'll put it up after I edit this, and I hope you enjoy it, so, again, I will see you all tomorrow, please read more comic books, please subscribe, to my channel and have a great day.